Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Samba Sports um, Youth Agenda uh, Mental Health Tuesday. Today is another Tuesday, uh, being uh, 24th day of um, October 2023. Is yet another evening where we come together and discuss matters of mental health. My name is Mohammed Ali Machausa, and I'll be your host. And I'll let you maswala ya schizophrenia, schizophrenia. Na tuko na daktari ambaye uh, last week alituonjesha onjesha kiasi na leo tumesema hatutaki kionjo tunataka chakula kizima. So we'll be delving deep into schizophrenia and uh, none other than uh, daktari Philip Gichimba mwenye atakupeleka. Philip how are you? I'm well. Vizuri. Uh, pengine labda tuanze kwa uh, daktari kujitambulisha. Vile vile tuko na uh, daktari Piri Maina. E pia atakuwa na sisi. Uh, daktari Piri. Yes. How are you? Good evening. Good evening to you. I'm fine, thank you. So tuanze na Dr. Philip uh, tueleze ye ni nani kazi yake ya kawaida ni gani? and what does uh, his week look like kwa hii maswala ya mental health philip over to you yes thank you asante kwa fursa hii kwa majina naitwa philip gichimba e, mimi ni clinical psychologist e, hospitali ya rufaa ya msambweni county ya kwane na si ninachokifanya huwa na 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 usika na na kusaidia wale ambao wako overwhelmed kisaikolojia na ki kihis psychologically and overwhelmed person daktari unapotea Philip Gichimba mimi ni mwanasaikolojia hospitali ya rufaa ya Msambweni na my day to day activities huwa na shughulika na those who are psychologically and emotionally overwhelmed Sawa asanti uh, leo katika mada yetu tunazungumzia kuhusu kichaa ama ukipenda kwa lugha ya kimombo schizophrenia Lada kwa msikilizaji uweze kumueleza kiundani kiasi uh, hii kichaa ama schizophrenia ni nini na inaletwa na nini Okay uh, hii kichaa ama kwa kingu schizophrenia ni ugonjwa ambao una unaathiri uh, uwezo wa mtu wa kufikiria uh, kuhisi na pia kitabia uh, vile inavyofaa so it affects ama kwa kizungu it affects a person's ability to think feel and behave clearly kwa duga ambayo inaweza edeweka kwa uh, yes uh, labda sasa tuangalie upande wa kazi zako tulijiuliza tuli, tuli swali hiki cha watu wengi unaweza wapata wako barabarani wanakimbizana wanatembea uchi na yet kumbe ni condition ambayo kwamba ina inatibika labda tu kiupana kiasi utueleze ni vitu gani ambavyo kwamba labda ni uh, vinachangia mtu kupata kichaa Uh, alafu tujiulize baadaye labda tunaweza zuia namna gani na management yake ni vipi lakini kwa sasa ni katika zile kesi ambazo mmezipata okay. what are the causative factors ambazo zinachangia kupata mtu kichaa okay asante moja wapo ya uh, ya, ya visababu ama sababu zinazo uh, data schizophrenia moja ni inaweza na 
stress for life events ama mambo ya kida siku ya maisha ikikuwa so overwhelming ama ikikuwa so stress as a data schizophrenia high, uh, high stressful uh, ama life changing events labda ukipoteza mtu ama ajari data schizophrenia hiyo ni moja wapo uh, utumiaji wa madawa na pombe unaweza utapata kuna watu wata developed uh, wata develop zile ishana za schizophrenia for example kama vile kutumia bangi eh, heroin cocaine ni utumiaji wa pombe na mihadarati tatu inaweza na uh, uko ama kwa kizungu genetic inheritance uh, inaweza pia ukipata familia iko na ugonjwa wa kichaa ama schizophrenia most likely kwa hiyo familia kutakuwa na uh, na mtu mmoja uh, kutakuwa na likelihood ya mtu mmoja kwa hiyo familia ku develop kicha so genetic pia ama inaweza changia ya nne uh, ya tofauti za brain chemistry so utapata Uh, uh, ubongo ama zile nini za za ubongo inaweza sababisha there are those who are likely to to develop schizophrenia uh, differences the brain chemistry zinakuwa sio kama za za mtu wa kawaida so hizo zinaweza kuwa ni zile sa, sababu za mtu ku kuugua ugonjwa wa akili ama ugonjwa wa kichaa Asante daktari labda uh, uh, daktari Priscilla Maina uko na lolote la kuongeza labda katika experience yako Kat, ama tuseme katika hizi hizi possible causes ni zipi ambazo zimechangia pakubwa zaidi katika experience yenu uh, daktari Priscilla Um, sana sana ni hiyo ya genetic eh? hiyo ya uko na inasemekana ukiwa na ukaribu ina depend na um, ukiwa na ukaribu sana na yule mtu ameugua like kama a, a twin twin mmoja akiwa amepata the high, there are high chances of the other twin kupata so the more closer you are genetically the higher the chances of you getting kwa hivyo kama labda ni mapacha wa kufanana ule mwingine ako na uwezo mkubwa wa kupata kama ni wale tunasema ni dizygotic wale wameachana kidogo pia so it depends on how closer you are genetically to the person affected yeah and uh, in now the, the environmental factors that Philip have just talked about the exposure to substances of you abuse the the, stress, the stressful life events they can be a trigger in a person who is genetically exposed to schizophrenia thank you asante wajua mnapozungumza kuhusu uh, genetic predisposition mimi naanza kushtuka kwa sababu uh, katika familia tulikuwa na dada yetu ambaye ali, alikuwa anapatwa na hizo na hizo na hizo hali na tukaangaika nadhani tulizungumza katika World Mental Health Day pale na alipoaga dunia ikampata kaka yetu ambaye ni mkubwa wake kwa hivyo ilikuwa mdogo alipatwa alafu alipopass kama ikaruka kwa kwa mkubwa lakini uzuri baada ya kuangaika akapata njia ya hospitali na katibika na mpaka sasa kama ilimwacha sasa naanza kufikiria labda uh, ikitoka kwa kakaangu labda inaweza kuja kwangu although ni half <laughs> ni, ni half siblings uh, lakini uzuri hata ikija kwangu nyinyi mshaniambia kwamba inatiba kwa hivyo nitakimbilia tu kwenu 
Um, tuje katika hizi substances. Najua mwaka 2018 ama 17 hapo tulikuwa tunafanya kama utafiti mdogo na tulizungumza na daktari aliyekuwa yuko Tiwi pale uh, dada Mruche alikuwa akiitwa Mruche siku hizi yuko Madhare I think. Alafu pia tukaenda Portrees tukazungumza na madaktari pale. Na kilichotokea ni kwamba utumiaji wa miadharati ulikuwa umepandisha zaidi asilimia za zile conditions ususan pale 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 portrees na akasema matumizi ya mugoka na bangi yalikuwa yamechangia zile numbers kupandi, kupanda zaidi labda kuna ukweli gani katika hii substance mbili kwamba zimechangia pakubwa katika kuongeza idadi ya wanaougua hizi uh, hali uh, both uh, philip alafu priscilla Okay asante. So um uh, mugoka na hiyo bangi uh, kwanza tunasema kwamba akidi ya binadamu huwa inakomaa sana sana the frontal part the frontal lobe uh, huwa inakomaa mtu akiwa na miaka 20 na mitano. So na unapata uh, wale ambao wanatumia hii mugoka na bangi ni wale ambao wengi wao hawajafika umri wa tunasema hiyo pati ya akili haijakoma na tunavyojua kwamba hiyo pati ya mbele ya akili ndio ina umuhimu wa kufikiria kuwaza ku make decisions so unapata mtu akianza kutumia ile muguka na ile bangi already akili haijakoma ameanza ku ameanza kutumia hiyo vitu uh, already kufikiria uh, ama kuwaza ama kufanya vitendo hiyo pate ya akili ina ina uh, inadhoofika ama inaharibika so ndio unapata uh, hizo cases za za hao vijana wanatumia hiyo bangi na cut inasababisha hiyo schizophrenia ah asante Uh, Lada uh, daktari uh, Priscilla what you are um, uh, how, how the the cut the mogoka and the cannabis hiyo ni bangi tunasema those are stimulants eh? na zingine tunaziita hallucinogens inaleta zile false perception so so when they are used uh, we, we, they speed up the brain na zinazidisha kuli there, there is a certain chemical inaitwa dopamine kwa brain so that chemical once wanatumia hizi vitu inakuwa released excessively na hiyo sasa ndio inachangia pia kuwa na hizo hizo hali hizo symptoms zenye tutakuja kuongelelea baadaye so they overspeed the brain paka the brain inakuwa overwhelmed yeah thank you Asante kabla tuende kwa zile symptoms naona kuna maswali hapa kuna mwanaisha anasema do we have children who are born vichaa azina nazaliwa hiyo hiyo kichwa already tunampata ata at a certain age hilo ni swali moja swali la pili daamina anasema how do you talk to someone with signs of schizophrenia au ni maswali mawili daktari naomba utusaidie Asante. Kwanza uh, utafiti unasema kwamba kwamba kwa wanaume inaanza on the late teens, early 20s kwa wanaume. Alafu uh, kwa wamama ama kwa wasichana inaanza in the late 20s. Uh, late 20s to early 30s. So um and it is likely it is unlikely to be diagnosed kwa watu wadogo chini ya zaidi chini ya miaka kumi na miwili ama zaidi ya watu wenye wako na miaka 40 so unapata hata hiyo uh, presida amezungumza kuhusu genetic predispositions uh, 
amesema kwamba inaweza muaffect baadaye hakuna mtu ambaye anazaliwa na hiyo kicha inakuja ku ku uh, ku, 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 ku diagnosed much are in uh, uh, much for men tumesema late 20s then for 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 women in the late uh, uh, in the late 20s ama early 30s Asante. Naona ile swali la kwanza, swali la pili, Ada Amina aliuliza, tongeaje na mtu ama tong, ni namna gani ya kuongea na mtu ambaye kwamba labda uh, unamuona kuna na signs za uh, schizophrenia? Okay, one, eh, ukiwa kama relative ama caregiver, unaishi naye, ni mzuri unakuwa supportive because wale wengi tunapata hapa kama vile msambweni huwa wameletwa na the caregivers so it is for you to develop a, a good rapport ama a good uh, mkuu na good relationship with them so that you are able to explain to them that you need to see you need to see somebody and uh, you need to uh, to seek help hiyo ingine ya kuna kitu sisi kama wana psychology tunaita CBT ama cognitive behavioral therapy huwa inasaidia mambo ya social skills behavior uh, yes lakini kama caregiver it's good you develop a good communication ama good rapport with them so that in our motivate uh, to seek help because uki uh, if you are not uh, you don't have a good rapport with them what are decline kwenda ku, ku kupata matibabu Sawa asante. Twende katika uh, zile tunaziita ni symptoms. Labda tukija katika hizi symptoms, signs and symptoms, tunaweza jiuliza sisi labda tuna watu wangapi kwa sababu labda tunaoacha na hizo symptoms na wanahitaji huduma. Je, yeah, what are the key ama common symptoms ambazo ni za schizophrenia? Maybe at early stage na pia kama zime develop zaidi. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh jinsi tulivyosema huu ni ugonjwa ambao una affect eh, kufi, mawazo jinsi mtu anafikiria hisia na pia ku behave kama mtu wa kawaida so one of the kuna symptoms tunazitaga positive symptoms na hizi positive symptoms ni zile uh, ni zile ideas perceptions ama vitendo zinakuwa highly exaggerated hii ni kwamba mtu hawezi tofautisha ukweli na na ni gani si kweli so one of the po, one of the positive symptom moja ni hallucinations uh, tapata mtu akiwa na schizophrenia atahisi sauti at, 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 atahisi atasikia sorry ataona atanusa ama ata uh, yaani atashuhudia vitu ambavyo wengine hawa hawazioni na types za hallucinations in, kwa schizophrenia moja hapo ni kusikia utapata mtu akiwa na schizophrenia atasikia sauti kwa kichwa chake and kwa kizungu tunasema convincing sounds na utapata uh, watakuwa kukasirika uh, ama mtu wa uh, kukasirika wanakasirika haraka ama wanadibad vitu kwa uh, kwa uh, uh, ama wanadibad vitu hapo hapo sema mtu ameamka anakuambia anataka kiatu mpya ama shati mpya hapo hapo na hauna pesa ya pidi ama kwa hiyo auditori utasikia waki wakijinongonezea waki eh, wakiwa tumesema demanding watamama watakasirika eh, so hiyo ni auditory visual utapata ku, mtu akiwa na schizophrenia ataona vitu watu ama patterns eh, ama utapata kama mtu alimpoteza rafiki yake ama ndugu yake watasema niliona fulani ama ana, ana, anaona fulani aliyekufa wanazungumza naye so hiyo ni visual anaona vitu ambavyo 
watu wengine ya waoni uh, then ya tatu uh, kwa hallucination inakuwa ni tunasema olfactory ama gustatory uh, tunasema anahisi uh, harufu mbaya nzuri na pia taste ndio utapata kuna mtu uh, wakiishi naye sema kama mimi Philip naishi na dadangu utapata mtu akiwa na schizophrenia atakuwa anasema mimi dadangu anataka kuni kunitilia sumu na utapata watakataa mpaka kuda so kama kuna nuka kama kuna pikwa pilau na tunajua vizuri pilau inanukia vizuri watu kama wale utampata aki akilalamika kwamba kuna nuka vibaya utapata mpaka anatema mate so ina affect hiyo hisia ya ya test na smell. Ya tatu utapata mtu akiwa na schizophrenia kuna ile feeling ya mara utampata anaji rab kwa ngozi anahisi ni kama kuna vitu zinamtembelea kwa mwili kama vile wadudu. So hiyo ni part ya ya hallucinations na affect the five senses. So then ya pili ni delusions delusions ni, ni zile eh, beliefs eh, zile beliefs eh, zenye ziko strange kwa watu wengi na zile ni ngumu ku prove wrong so um, utaipata kuna mtu eh, mtu wa schizophrenia utampata amebeba kiboko ama kijiti ama mamawe ukimuuliza nasema kuna watu wanataka kumuua kuna watu wanataka kum kumchapa ndio hiyo inakuwa part ya delusion ndio hiyo tunasema persecutory delusions wanahisi kwamba kuna watu wa, wanawafuata wamchape wamuue ama wamuumize persecutory kutokana na jina persecution akona ile hisia kwamba kuna watu wanataka ku, kumba ku, ku, kumthuru ya pd ya delusions ingine inaitwa referential delusion unahisi kwamba utahisi uh, mtu ambao ako na schizophrenia akiona news akiona wimbo anahisi ni kwamba ile wimbo ama ile kitu inaongelewa kwa tv inamhusu yeye ndio inaitwa referential anahisi kwamba ile wimbo ama ile tv imesema inalenga yeye peke yake so uh, then kuna another form of delusion inaitwa somatic uh, ndio utapata mgonjwa wa schizophrenia uh, atahisi kwamba ako na ugonjwa kali utampata anaweza sema ako na ugonjwa wa kansa ako na ugonjwa sijui wa, uh, wa kifua ama utahisi akisema kwamba anahisi wadudu wakitembelea kwa kwa, kwa, kwa ngozi yake ndio hiyo somatic kwa kutokana na eh, wana, wana believe kwamba wako na ugonjwa kama kansa na utapata kila wakati anasema apeleke hospitali anafanywa x-ray nafanywa nini na zote zinakuwa uh, eh, negative ndio soma ya tatu inaitwa aromatic delusions aromatic delusions ni kwamba yule mgonjwa wa schizophrenia eh, ndio utampata tuseme eh, kama ni mama utampata tuseme anasema eh, wanapendana na Laila yani vitu yenye inaweza kuwa tulisema kwamba ni vitu inaweza kuwa ngumu ku prove wrong utampata kama ni mama anasema eh, uhuru anampigiaga simu Laila wanaongeaga na yeye then ya pidi ndio utapata eh, aida aman or a woman ndio utampata kila wakati anasema eh, the partner na cheat na ko very na stand yao iko very eh, ni kadi sana ana accuse partner yake ya ku cheat uh, kuna wengine watahisi kwamba kutokana na hiyo uh, aromatic delusion ni kwamba eh, watajihisi kwamba wao si eh, si 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 wapendezi sasa watu 
hawapendi from the red, uh, aromatic from the word uh, romance then uh, religious delusions hao ni wale watu gonjwa schizophrenia ndio atakuwa na anaamini kwamba wanaongeaga na Mungu anasema asubuhi Mungu aliniongeresha Mungu aliapia kwangu uh, ama kuna wengine pia wataamini kwamba wako na uh, wameingiliwa na shetani religious delusions so um uh, then kuna hiyo ingine inaitwa gradius uh, gradius uh, ni ile uh, delusion ni, ni wagonjwa wa schizophrenia uta uh, mpata ana, anaamini yeye labda ni mwanasiasa unapatana yana kwambe unajua mimi ni, ni MCA wa TV mimi ni MCA wa Runga Runga mimi ni personal assistant wa Raila personal assistant wa Mama Achani so that gradius delusions yani wanajikonsider wao ni watu wa maana sana aidha kwa nchi ama kwa dunia yes so tumeangalia hiyo delusions na hallucinations um mnanipata tunapata vizuri tu sana zingine zinatufanya tucheck kiasi lakini ni ugonjwa <laughs> yes so uh, delusions na hallucinations ya tatu tulisema kwamba pale mwanzo tulisema ina affect uh, vile mtu ana, uh, ana anafikiria anahisi na pia kitabia so tutaangalia dalili moja ugonjwa wa schizophrenia ni confused thoughts and disorganized speech kwamba mafikida yao uh, yako confused then kwa speech yao ama kwa mazungumzo yao iko disorganized haina mtalatala ama haina mpangilio uh, ndio utapata watu ambao wana schizophrenia wako na muda mgumu kupanga mawazo yao ama utapata ukiongea na yeye uh, hayuko pale ama ha concentrate ama they they might not be able to follow uh, wakati unaongea na wao utapata mkizungumza na mtu wa schizophrenia ni kama yuko distracted yani a concentrate mara unamwona anaangalia huku anatoka kwa conversation uh, Uh, then uh, akiamua kuongea kama hiyo ina conversation utampata maneno yake uh, haya make sense haya make sense na yana mpangilio kama labda mlikuwa mnazungumza kuhusu vile mtalima shamba mpalilie then ikifika ni muda wake tani yake ya kuzungumza ndio atakwambia vile yeye anatafuta bibi vile anataka yeye aoe vile labda Uh, bibi ya mtu fulani labda anamtaka ana so they are, they are, their words don't make sense and uh, they just come out uh, disorganized so hiyo ni confused thoughts and the, uh, disorganized speech eh uh, yeye nyingine ni wako na shida concentrate uh, utampata yule mgonjwa wa schizophrenia labda anaona news kana, kama vile tulivyoona leo usu huko baringo mara mambo ya eh, ukimuuliza ki, kinachotokea ama kinachoongelewa eh, ana ana hiyo time ya, ya ku concentrate ana lose track so um, then hiyo eh, nyingine ni eh, ni movement disorders unapata eh, mtu wa schizophrenia eh, utampata ana uh, they are very repetitive uh, kufanya jambo kama ni meza na gonga gonga utampata amegonga gonga meza uh, for almost 20 or 30 minutes uh, they can stamp their feet ama kuongesha mguu for 30 minutes one hour they, they do it uh, they make the same movements over and over again uh, wale mtu wa schizophrenia mgonjwa eh, anaweza kama hali 
kwa masaa matano tuwana wa kwa kiti labda umeketi mahali nje ya, ya nyumba anaweza keti hapo nje ya nyumba for two hours to to, to, to as long as many hours uh, bila hata kutoka pale um, uh, then uh, kuna kitu moja ya uh, schizophrenia and like other mental conditions uh, wagonjwa wengi wa schizophrenia hawakuagi violent uh, wengi wanakuaga wametudia so um, contrary kwa belief uh, wanakuaga they aren't violent and like let's say psychosis so um, uh, so i just wanted to make that uh, your belief so tumezungumza kuhusu hiyo movement disorders how to identify uh, na hizo pande mwanzo nikasema ni positive uh, positive symptoms uh, positive symptoms that is in zile ideas ziko exaggerated tumezungumza kuhusu hallucinations hisia kunusa kuhisi uh, then uh, kuna zile uh, negative symptoms uh, negative symptoms tunaweza sema ni uh, the absence uh, or lack of normal mental functioning napata zile uh, zile functions za kidi za kawaida aziko hizi ni zina zinahusu kufikiria behavior na pia perception so kama one of the negative so, symptoms of schizophrenia ni lack of pressure uh, utapata yule mtu hataki ha enjoy anything anymore utapata ame lose interest either na kuoga uh, kuosha nyumba kupiga mswaki so the pressure is no longer there uh, another negative symptom ya schizophrenia ni trouble ya speech uh, utapata inafika mahadi uh, they might not talk much ama kuonyesha hisia ukimkasirisha aonyeshi hisia ukiongea kitu ya kuchekesha acheki yani yuko tu then uh, kuna ingine tunaita flattening eh uh, 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 wana, wanapozungumza unahisi sauti yao ni kama iko flat ni kama hawana emotions eh uh, tuseme hiyo mnaongea kuhusu mtu fulani ameaga dunia uh, obviously sisi kama binadamu ukizungumza kuhusu mtu amefariki uh, iko na some emotions so unapata ye yeah, hao wao wakizungumza there are no signs of uh, emotions wako flat. Hawana hawaonyeshi zile facial emotions zile za uso, kuonyesha huzuni ama kufurahia. Uh, ama uh, environment. They are not emotionally responsive to conversations ama kitu yote inafanyika uh, ama kinachowazungumza eh uh, kinachowazunguka sorry. Then nyingine ni withdraw, utapata wanajitenga wanajitenga kama ni mtu mzee alikuwa na zungumza na weza wenzake wanapatana mahali wanacheza karata ama ile chess anakatu kwa nyumba uh, ukizungumza nao inafika mahali ni kama ni kama unangoa mtu jino uh, na unajua kungoa mtu jino ni, ni kazi ngumu so uh, wanajitenga kuongea pia inakuwa shida uh, na tumesema kukuoga kujitunza kuvaa manguo nafika mahali uh, ina inawachosha ndio hiyo negative eh, symptoms tumesema withdraw threatening eh, six za kila siku kuoga kupiga mswaki then eh, inafika mahali akianza uh, for example alikuwa amebeba karai ya maji aende kuoga akibeba akipeleka bafu uh, eh, amalizi chenye alikuwa amepanga kama alikuwa amepanga kutoka na karai nje afue nguo ikifika hapo anawachana naye so they are hard they have trouble They're staying on schedule or fish, finishing whatever they start uh, so
So um, you can see those are the uh, the symptoms of somebody with uh, schizophrenia. The bo positive ones, the exaggerated ideas, and the negative symptoms, uh, the absence of uh, uh, the absence of uh, uh, the absence of no moment of function. Sant. Wow. Asante sana daktari. Hiyo ilikuwa kwa ni dose. Ah, hiyo ilikuwa kwa ni dose. Afu vile unazungumza taratibu imeingia vizuri tu kwa mishipa. Naona watu wanaongea wenyewe kwenye kwenye chat. Ningependa kufungua yeah. wakati. Ningependa kufungua wakati kwa uh, watu waweze kuuliza maswali ama kucomment. But before that, ni sema tu nitaje a few comments hapa. Uh, Benson Gala anasema at what stage does depression advance to schizophrenia? At what stage does depression uh, advance to schizophrenia? Like ilo tarejibu baadae uh, Nuru uh, Omar anasema hi everyone late but I'm here um, Riziki Hamisi anasema rich information sir Philip yes we are listening Mariam anacheka alafu anasema I guess I have met such people many times without knowing they are sick thank you daktari Ali Hassan na huu mimi nimekataa kukubaliana naye anasema inakaa sote tuko na chembe chembe cha kichaa hizi symptoms ni kama kila mtu akosi moja mimi nimekataa <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Riziki uh, anasema tena confused thoughts does this happen to only schizophrenia clients uh, labda anasema kuna kuna wengine pia ambao labda wanakuwa na confused thoughts uh, Hakim Matondo anasema hii ni kali hizo symptoms Ali Abud anasema deep insight Mr Philip wow uh, Lafu Riziki anarudi anasema because just observe there's people of certain age wako na confused thoughts uh Mariam anarudi anasema we then we are all victims <laughs> Mimi nimejitoa huko Alafu uh, Hassan anasema nimeona symptom kama nne huko na <laughs> uh, Mwanaisha anasema nishaanza kujishuku uh, <laughs> Eh okay uh, Mwanaisha anasema I think I need to be careful Anyway apart from hiyo comedy and uh, ni kwanza ni i think it's a very good presentation na hii kwa sababu iko kwa youtube tutaipeana watu waweze kusikiza mahali mengine waweze kupata faida daktari uh, muktar naona mkono wako uko juu naomba uchukue dakika zako mbili alafu tusonge mbele daktari uh, thank you very much this is the most interesting conversation. I think what uh, I think we have all symptoms of kicha. Uh, thank you, Dr. Philip. I think that was excellent reflection on the subject. Uh, but also, I had a few questions of concern. Uh, the issues you have raised, I think, uh, kicha is the defining problem of psychiatry. It is a complex emerging problem, especially now in the cost of drug and substance abuse where our young people are making reckless attempts, you know, to cope with the dehumanizing challenges of life, particularly poverty. So, but there's a genetic component you talked about, both him and uh, Dr. Priscilla, I hope I'm right. Uh, my question is, is alcoholic being, is it, is it genetic to be alcoholic? Is it, is, does it also have genetic symptoms? Two, I think what the doctor has mentioned is very important. Uh, so when you look at the drivers, as he has mentioned, whether it is class, community, family, networks, or even life events, with some of the expressed emotions in our families in terms of vulnerability, what is our moral economy as a society? What are the values that we embody for people who are kicha, especially caregivers, and also the professionals, like the doctor who has spoken here? Many of these people, I think, the caregivers are mainly mothers. Baba Natoroka, some, you know, in our African culture also to look at the nexus between culture and kicha. If you look at our African med medical anthropology, you say this has been cast. By looking at the experience of the sufferers, the victims themselves, 
the family members, and also the professionals. So what is the role of, you know, peace and development practitioners like Mohammed in prioritizing issues of Kicha? This one, you have done an excellent work, but how many of these people do you have in the rural areas? Uh, even in our urban centers for the rich, how want a future, people with such challenges. So the question I wanted to ask the doctor was, uh, can you have or undertake a delusional dialogue with somebody who is armed, who fears and is threatening others without risking yourself? If you do, how do you have such a dialogue with such a person to disarm? Thank you very much. This has been a very insightful engagement. And Mohammed, don't dismiss people. All of us, we have seen some indicators of our Kichanis. If it comes from you, I'm in self hand. Mimi ni kitana ambaye nimebembelezwa vizuri. Watu wa niongeleshe vibaya sasa ni kama napona sirepuki. Daktari umesikia maswali ya Dr. Mukhtar labda uko na jambo la kusema lakini kabla Daktari Philip uzungumze naona Benson Ngala amenua mkono. Benson tafadhali chukua platform dakika yako okay, moja. Uh, okay, thank you so much Mohamed and um hi to everyone. Um I have one question that I needed to ask Dr. Philip concerning schizophrenia because I'm currently working in a renal unit, uh, I have one patient who is uh, who has been affected by schizophrenia, and we're having an issue with this patient in terms of compliance, especially to compliance to drugs. This is a patient who is also uh, hypertensive. Uh, he is also having DM. So uh, most of the time, there are a lot of drugs that he is supposed to use, but unfortunately, he is not compliant to drugs, and at the same time, it's very it's difficult for you to handle the patient and maybe explain how the drugs are supposed to be taken. Uh, we, we, we've even tried to engage the relatives, the caregivers. They are also find it, finding it hard to convince the, the, the patient, the client about the drugs. So maybe Dr. Philip, um, I would just like you to give an insight on how such a patient should be handled because if the patient does not take drugs, he is being affected. And at the same time, you cannot convince the, the patient to have the drugs. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Mariot, I'm Dr. Kasaba. Tafadhali, jaribu kama unaweza kuwasaidia na maswali yao. Okay, thank you. Uh, the best thing ni kwamba hii ni Google Meet, so it also extends past even one hour. So, um, iyo, uh, maybe a little credit uh, from Benson uh, umesema yuko na schizophrenia yuko na uh, hy uh, yuko hypertensive yuko na sukari yes yes doctor yeah. those are the comorbidities that the patient is having they are the ones that led to CKD so is DM and is also HTM okay so um I don't know. Maybe uh, what you can do uh, is to probably refer them to a psychologist eh? because uh, you find uh, even in Samboen, uh, most of the times uh, Nizire ni meitua either mama amekata kupatia uh, even far from the mental issues uh, mama amekata kupatia mtoto ama ye mwenye wakakata kumeza dawa za virusi ama za sukari ama umeitwa umeambua mgonjwa amekataa ku, 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 kufanyiwa amputation ama kukatwa mguu ama kidode but what happens is uh, how they put it so um, you find uh, i as a psychologist when i sit them with them do psychoeducation the importance of compliance ama the importance ya hiyo amputation and equip them na hizo coping ama hizo stress management napata yule mgonjwa alikuwa anakataa kukatwa mguu ama yule mgonjwa alikuwa anakataa kumeza dawa anaanza hata yeye mwenyewe ndiye ukimaliza hiyo session anakwambia waambie waniletee dawa sahi ama waambie wanikate sahi so maybe probably you need uh, they need to have a family therapy with a psychologist 
then uh, I'm sure he's going to comply 80%. A family session. Uh, okay, family so therapy. Sorry. I was saying. Okay, I was saying thank you. Maybe we can, try to, we can try to refer the patient to a psychologist as you've advised so that we see the outcome. Thank you for your input. Sure, sure. Thank you. The other question you require, Dr. Mukhtar. Kusu alcohol is uh, alcoholic can be uh, alcoholism be genetic? Uh, my answer is yes. So um, uh, maybe Priscilla, which I need to in a fast Priscilla, I expound on that. Asante, Doctor Priscilla. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, there is um. A genetic predisposition when it comes to alcoholism. Because unaweza kuangalia familia moja ukiangalia familia kuna kuna uwezekano ama kuna, kuna hali ya u, u, utumizi mbaya wa pombe. So for this case we always ask people if they have any history of alcohol in the family they should not even attempt because the chances of them now going into addiction are higher than another person who is not genetically predisposed. So, and the issues of genetic predisposition, they are known. The causes are known. Yeah, thank you. So, yes, Mohammed, uh, sorry, Mohammed, uh, sorry, 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 Mohammed. I think, sorry, uh, Dr. Priscilla, you said it well. In developed countries, families just have this predisposition to alcoholism. I think even infants, they are, they are, they are, they are doing laboratory adjustment at infancy in recalibrating the brain chemistry. So the child does not become alcoholic. When the father is significant, Asante asante daktari kuna swali ambalo ni muhimu sana na hili ningependa kumpatia daktari Priscilla uh, Nuru ana ameuliza swali hapa zito tu anasema I may have missed the drivers of uh, those symptoms is postpartum stress a predisposing condition to schizophrenia najua maswala ya postpartum depression ni vitu ambavyo ni vimeonekana vya kawaida sasa Na je, hizo zinaweza pelekea mtu kufika kwa kichaa? Uh, Dr. Priscilla. Yeah, uh, we call all these things, we call them, uh, they are psychotic disorders. Eh? Schizophrenia being one of them. And what we get after, post, after delivery, that is the postpartum we are talking about, they are likely to go the stress are likely to put them at a level of puperal psychosis or postpartum psychosis and now they'll present with the symptoms that philip had mentioned earlier and more so they tend to be uh to be cruel to the infants to their newborns eh? and all that so yes it is true that uh, puperal or postpartum stress can put one at risk of going into puperal or postpartum psychosis. Wow, Asante. Ni iseme tu kwamba imekuwa very educative. Na naona hapa kuna maswali bado ya hapo. Uh, uh, Riziki anasema, in which stage does uh, ele swali lime, limeruka kidogo. In which stage does a patient uh, use depressants? Maybe katika management of uh, uh, iso schizophrenia. Alafu kuna swali la nuru tena nasema, is it only alcoholism? Ama vile kuna endelea, hata mungoka addiction will be transmissible. <laughs> I hope not. Um, 
alafu dr dr muktar kama anamjibu nuru anasema drivers za uh, social factors operating environment community class networks or live events that predispose one to significant vulnerability asante daktari philip gichimba uh, labda tukimalizia kwa sababu dakika zimeshakwenda utueleze tu uh, what is the management of uh, schizophrenia what is the management of schizophrenia okay thank you um uh, before i go to the management uh, kuna wewe riziki hamisi anauliza which stage does a patient use labda alikuwa anasema antidepressants so um antidepressants inatumika kwa management ya depression na jinsi tu i don't know whether niliguzia last time depression wakati ni ugonjwa wa moods it is one of the mood disorders whereby unapata mtu ako na huzuni kila wakati ameruse interest so zile antidepressants anapewa kumchangamsha hiyo huzuni eh, anapewa hizo dawa kum kum kuinua mood zake eh, pamoja na pamoja na psychotherapy in, they work hard in hard thank you kuna ingine eh, management ya uh, management in a husu one kuna hizo anti uh, kuna hizo kuna dawa zige, naweza ziita anti uh, the management ya hizo symptoms uh, two kuna counseling wacha niseme counseling in simple terms ama psychotherapy there is a component in psychotherapy we call a CBT ama cognitive behavioral therapy uh, inaweza saidia watu wa schizophrenia to develop better uh, social and problem solving skills uh, inasaidia ku reduce the severity of the symptoms and also to lower the risk of relapse um, so uh, the CBT mgonjwa uh, akija kwangu ama akija kwangu so i equip them with the Uh, the skills uh, is a pro uh, is a social and problem solving skills to uh, reduce severity of symptoms na kuroa risk ya relapse hiyo kama vile Benson amesema kuna mgonjwa hataki kumeza dawa with strong uh, psychotherapy ama counseling plus madawa uh, this person is able to to live uh, a normal life and we advocate that uh, Uh, just like uh, Priscilla alisema last time uh, ni kwamba uh, schizophrenia is uh, uh, tunasema inakuwa diagnosed at is all symptoms ikikaa for six months and for one month ndio tunasema one month plus ndio inaitwa psychosis six ikikaa zile symptoms six months plus ndio inakuwa uh, schizophrenia so um hizo madawa plus counseling Uh, i also we also advocate that uh, instead ya kwenda huko kwa waganga uh, most people are brought to us uh, Priscilla is a witness they are brought to us when hizo au madaktari wa mitishamba wa mefail so analeto already wakati ameshakuwa was kabisa but uh, the area uh, a schizophrenia patient is brought the uh, tunamsaidia anaweza ku Who, I know a few people when when I measure is on dawas as schizophrenia plus counseling and they work like me uh, Priscilla Mwachausa and everyone in the group so um uh, added treatment ama ali the um, ali management who are the best Priscilla Priscilla labda utumalizie maana kama muda naona umetu Okay, okay. Sorry, eh, this time is really running, eh? You should do it two hours, Machausha. <laughs> Machausha, sorry, I'm <laughs> coming from here. Yeah, so as we said earlier, we look at this person as a whole. We are doing drug and easy down is a to reduce symptoms, eh? After the patient is stable now, he is able to undergo your counseling. Because one thing with this schizophrenia how watu hawajuagi kwamba wako na shida 
tunasema hawana insight hawajui wako na shida na so kama hujui ka uko na shida hata hizo dawa hutatumia and maybe to go back to to Gala's concern about the patient they are having sometimes now you would consider now changing the the the, the type of the drugs that you are giving if you are giving uh, oral medication dawa za kumeza you might consider now the injectable so once this person gains the insight he'll be able now to understand his condition and the need to continue with the medication so another thing that we we we, are, uh, we bring uh, into play is about the occupational therapy how and what about how walikuwa hawafanyi kazi they lost the skills so we bring in the occupational therapist into play so that they can help them restore the lost skills uh, and then the other thing we have the outcomes now what determines the outcome of our treatment like philip said it's early early treatment good compliance to medication family support family support is everything because if you have this patient and you mislead this patient then you lose it if you lead this patient in the right direction you win it and as we know it is not easy to handle this patient and uh, there are some of you who have asked about how 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 we, we we communicate or how we talk to them compassion and being non-judgmental is very very important yeah sometimes they can be harsh kwa sababu mtu akikuja ako na gogo na panga na nakufuata Hey, utakimbia so your safety first sisi kama madaktari tunaangalia anga usalama wetu kwanza because we have to see now eh, kama hii kitu kesi imefika hapa huyu mtu acha afungwe kamba at least ndio tuweze kumpatia dawa za kunduga na kumtuliza then after that we are able now to get into a conversation once he is stable thank you wow asanteni sana yes. uh, madaktari yes. Nadhani imekuwa mjadala mzuri na watu wengi sana wamefurahi ijapokuwa muda muda wetu ni lisali moja kwa sababu ni usiku sije tukaambiwa tunakeshesha watu bure kwa hivyo uh, wiki ijayo pia ni siku nadhani wiki ijayo tutazungumzia swala la psychosis sasa maana leo tumezungumzia kuhusu schizophrenia tutazungumza na, na daktari Philip kama ni kweli basi tutatengeneza posta ya psychosis pole pole tu mpaka tuta tutaweza ku, kuelimisha jamii zetu. Niseme tu tunapenda sana na Mungu awabariki good night. Thank you. Watu wakapimwa ni wagonjwa. <laughs> Hakim Hizo <laughs> symptoms zinatulenga kabisa. Yeah 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 sure. Angalia angalia. Ndio kongana. Nelson bado mkono wako umeenuka. Wewe ndio una ugonjwa kabisa. Na ngoja watu wa left bana, mimi ndio ni clean group. Bia pia ni sehemu moja ya hiyo. Okay. Good night. Good night in Pierre.